Here we will draw the Lewis structure for the ammonium ion. It has a charge of plus one, which means it will have lost one electron from the total that the atoms brought. What I mean is nitrogen brings five valence electrons each, and hydrogen brings one valence electron each. I only have one nitrogen, so that's five electrons. But I do have four hydrogens, and each one brings one valence electron. A nitrogen and four hydrogens normally totals nine valence electrons total, but the positive one charge on the ion means you have to take one of those electrons away. Taking away a negatively charged electron is what gives you the positive charge. So we need to draw 5 plus 4 minus 1 equals 8 valence electrons in the Lewis structure. Now to do it, we're going to put the nitrogen in the center. Nitrogen can handle many bonds, and hydrogen cannot. So I'm going to put the nitrogen in the center and surround it with four H's. Now the way I draw covalent Lewis structures, or Lewis structures between non-metals, is to single bond the center atom with all of the outer atoms first. If they weren't held together with even single bonds, they wouldn't be bonded. So I draw one, two, three, four single bonds. That's two, four, six, eight valence electrons. That's it. That's all I have. That's all I have to work with in this cluster of atoms. And luckily, nitrogen has a complete octet. Two, four, six, eight electrons around it. That's stable. Hydrogen only needs two electrons around it to be stable, and so each of these hydrogens are also happy. We're almost done. The only other thing is the Lewis structure of an ion, a charged particle, needs square brackets around itself, and then a charge written in the top right hand corner. Now there's your completed, completed Lewis structure. You're welcome and best of luck.